what makes the fragrance special is it's not the ingredients, although you have extraordinary sandalwood, you have the sacrasol, which is probably unique uh, in, in the way it's dosed uh, in a fragrance. But if you think of it, all these ingredients can be used in other fragrances by other people. But the way they are set together is really sort of around Dries's image. And it's really made as a portrait of Dries. And I don't think that this fragrance could have been sold for someone else. Or, or, I mean, it, it fits him. So that, that, that's what makes it special as far as I'm concerned. For me, it was also like, like really having somebody painting my portrait. Um, of course, it's a difficult thing for me because I try always to, to control everything what I do. And here I had to give the freedom to Frederic because he's a painter and I can give indications. But at a certain moment I say, okay, but now it's your turn. You, the, it's also interesting for me want to, to feel how people see me and what they think is important in my personality and what's important in my work. It's a smell which is unusual, but not, not unusual just for being different. I think, uh, I think it doesn't disturb. It's, it's something which is interesting, which is intriguing, and that for me is very, very good. Basically, it's like a bowl of comfort, um, really made around two things which are sandalwood, and a real sandalwood from uh, Mysore, from India, sort of album in French, um, and vanilla. And then what's very important to me is to connect things in fragrances. And we found a chemical which was used in the old days to sort of enhance sandalwood, which is called sacrasol, um, that is a perfect link between vanilla and sandalwood. So that's the sort of base of it. Um, and then we sort of added depth to it with patchouli that sort of creates a sort of sensuality. Um, and we rounded it with musk and a very, very good um, jasmine uh, absolute. Um, and then we sort of added colors, a bit like the way Dries sort of has, takes two colors that don't seem to go together and sort of make this a very unusual accord. And we did that with saffron. Uh, we added uh, spicy notes like clove and nutmeg, uh, which gave that lift, uh, and a lot of um, lemon and bergamot. I like already for a long time the, the perfumes of Frédéric. Uh, we sell them already, I think, from 2002 in our stores. Yeah. And it, it was not only the perfume, it was the whole world around it. My idea was to launch a new collection uh, of fragrance made around interesting people, uh, people that would inspire me. I've been doing, working with perfumers almost exclusively and in a very confined way for 12 years. And I thought it was time to bring somebody else to the party to give us more inspiration, a real breath of fresh air. Um, hence the idea for this new collection. And then Dries was a natural choice. We have known each other for a long time. Uh, we have many things in common. Uh, I adore what he does. So it was very simple. I just called him. I really always admired the, his vision on, on perfume and the way he uh, created all these things, but not only created it, the whole, the whole atmosphere around it. And in that way, I really wanted to, to be part of his story when the moment he invited me, that he was starting a new uh, project, and he invited me, I said immediately yes. I don't see one woman. I think when you look at Dries's clothes and the pe and people that wear them, they have a very personal sort of tie to them. I don't think that, and stop me if I'm wrong, you don't sort of try to change women into something completely different. And, and, and sometimes I find designers that having sort of almost caricatural images of women. You create clothes and then women sort of buy them one by one and sort of each person has a different rapport to your work. It really has to become something of their own, the clothes. And yeah. I think also with this perfume, it's, it's going to be something quite, uh, very personal, I think. And I think it's also a risk maybe what you take because it's such a personal uh, perfume that maybe some people say, oh, it's completely not my cup of tea. 
So, but that's also with the clothes which I make. There was not one single woman, but more of an état d'esprit, uh, which is that sort of sophisticated, wor sophisticated world that I aspire to. For me, it's not specifically a woman. It can be a woman and a man. It's really more like a person. It's a person uh, who has a lot of, of uh, power. I think it's, it's people, people who are going to like this perfume. It's, it's really people who want to tell something and who have also some, something to tell. The power is, I think, the fact that it's in fact a portrait. That's the way I see Dries. Um, and this is the, the essence of all this collection. Dries is the first of a new collection where I will make portraits of people that are, I find extremely inspiring. Um, and so, so um, the idea is that a perfumer and me are working around someone.